Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Friday, which means it's time for more Nose Streams Final Fantasy 15. Oh boy, I had to fucking rebind this motherfucker to Xbox buttons for this game. Thankfully, Steam lets you have individual button combinations, at least, or button configs. Have I mentioned how much I hate Xbox buttons? Have I have I mentioned how much I hate Xbox You've got buttons? You've got a dumb face. I hate them a month. What? Evan, why are you like this? Why? Why would he do that? That guy's a, that guy's a fucking dick. Something something being evil. Oh. I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to ban that man. I'm going to ban that. Man. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously, I know um, it's him. I'm going to ban his ass. He's a bitch. Oh boy. Uh. Can't believe. Can't believe. Like what? What? Fucking video game is like. Oh yeah. No. Instead of putting the like the letter with the button on it. Let me just put up a fucking like a, com uh, a fucking compass needle. But fuck you, your controller doesn't match match that. <laughs> I played the Steam version. I hate these buttons so much. It, it works fine on PlayStation. Oh yeah, because PlayStation you've got one controller to pick from. I know it. Eh? It feels like ass. Yeah, the correct controller. Eh. I fucking I don't I don't understand. There's the reason why Sony has not changed controller design in over four generation. Unlike Xbox and Nintendo. What the fuck are you talking about? Nintendo's controllers have been the same for ages. Like one new fucking weird controller for every generation. Fuck, since the NES. Like the Wii, like the fucking NES and SNES are essentially the same controller, but the SNES has bigger buttons and it has fucking palm rests. The N64 was where it got a little bit goofy, and that evolves pretty easily into the. GameCube controller, which does have a little bit silly buttons, but it's more or less the same shape. Uh, the Wii is where it got really fucking goofy, but you could still use a GameCube controller. The Wii U Pro controller and the fucking Switch Pro controller are essentially the same fucking thing. And they all- and both of them use SNES buttons. Like, there's been minor deviations over the years, but they're essentially the same fucking controller. Keep telling yourself, Nas. Hey. Howdy there. Oh, fucking... Say, what you buddies with the kid who's got the fancy tonight? camera? Fancy camera? Oh, right. Yeah. Nice. What do you say to uh, taking a picture for me? Of what? Noctis's voice uh, coming out of this character model is yeah. fucking hilarious. But I ain't seen him for a while. Okay. That's mighty kind of you, friend. Appreciate that. Alright, go look for a... Dip. Go look for a baby chocobo. Gotcha. Oh, baby chocobo for a baby game? <laughs> uh... Four babies? In the... Baby chocobo is doing baby chocobo things. Hey! Hey, Noct! What were you guys talking about? Nothing much. He just wants a photo of a chocobo. <gasps> Dude! I'm on it. And of course, you made his day. A what? wild chocobo. I hope we find it soon. Prompto's Prompto's day is made with the sheer <sighs> mention of chocobos. chocobos. You always set my soul at ease. Never realized you're so into chocobos. I'm totally into chocobos. Uh, don't take that the wrong way. There's no wrong way to love a chocobo. Pitch black out here. Light the way. There is no wrong way to love a chocobo. I can think of several wrong ways. <laughs> Whoa. The disc really is on fire. I is it safe to go near it? What the fuck is the disc? Seeing as we're near, why don't we make a stop at the disc of Corthus? Uh, if I remember well, the disc is this big thing in the center of the fucking map that has like a big pillar coming out of it. Yeah, that's sounds Apparently good. Ignis wants Wonderful. me to go there, I've so... I've always wanted to see the meteor of legend. Apparently. Yeah, that's it. It's a meteor, yeah. Alright, Ignis wants me to go visit it, so I guess... Hey, if you, if you go on map, 
Should we build the same place as the way of gods and kings? Alright. Yeah, I gotta go to the app. Bleh. Where the wild chocobos? Oh, that's not even that that far. Huh. Yeah, no. It's a big thing in the center. Actually, I think you can see it from here. It's a big blue thing. Or not. Uh, I'll thank you for the 13th month, 13 month resub, Master Cancer. Oh boy. Fucking. It's a year old. Oh boy. Um. Dad, I've been fucking doing this shit for over a year. God. That's. You're an old man now, now. Uh, damn kids today, like and share on Twitter. <laughs> like fucking, like I, I was, I was on Twitter. Twitter, I was on Twitter before here, and I was just like looking my timeline real quick, and I see that, that um, fucking Bree posted a thing that just is like, wow, I never understood, thought of it that way. She said, um, I don't understand Fortnite. Is this how the older YouTubers felt when when Minecraft my came out? Feet hurt. <laughs> Oof. And I'm just like, holy fuck, that's exactly it. Like, I, like, even I could understand, like, why people would want to play Minecraft, because it's like, it's just a brain-dead fucking game where you build giant golden cocks. And, you know, who can't be, who, 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 you know, who can't enjoy building a giant solid gold cock? But, yeah, Fortnite's the same thing, just people, except, except people shoot each other instead of building things. But they can also well, build. Can build things. Well, they can build things, but the things get destroyed as part no, of game. Don't try it. The invisible walls are too strong. Yeah. This is not. No, there's a um. No, there's a um. And uh, yeah, that there's... quest. Yeah, no, that there's that fucking quest. You need to go back no. to where you defeated the behemoth. Oh fuck that, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I remember it. Now that's the place where you need to go. To, like, he's like in the like misty area around like at the start or near there. Why is we there a baby? Him in there. Why is there a baby chocobo in there? Don't. Oh. You're asking the wrong question. Oh great, my rest point is like a billion miles away. All right, go back to where I parked the car. Let's go to the morning. When the scientists were, when the scientists were wondering if they could, if they never thought if they should. Hmm. Oh, and I hope your throat gets better, ramen. I still want the goddamn Final Fantasy VI songs. I've been told that they're in... That they're in here, but I... They're in the, um... Car, but I don't... I don't see them. Where do I cut the music from the good Final Fantasy game, damn it? Oh, fuck's you mean sake. Final Fantasy 7? I, I will fucking end you, I swear to god. <laughs> fucking Final Fantasy 7 is fucking dildos. You ready to rumble, not? In King's Knight? Oh yeah, I'm game. In that case, I'll join you. What is King's Knight? Uh, if I remember well, that's the weird uh, anime they released to explain like how the four of them meet up. Oh, it's a fucking phone game. They're playing a oh, compet They're playing a competitive phone game. Oh, that's cute. Honestly, same. They're collecting wire. They're collecting gun waifus. Yeah. Hey, this one's pretty good. I know. I did I'm it too. Like, so on that freaking event, like, I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm like one away on like almost everything now. I if I get like, I, like two things. I'll get like four. I'm four go. I'm going to admit I gave up. I gave. I've given up on that game for for a while. Yeah, we can see. Like that. I keep I keep getting like two stars, and it's made me very angry. Also, I can't play it on my phone anymore because my phone's hard drive is broken. <laughs> I I no matter how much shit yeah. I delete, it still I... says there's only one gigabyte of data left. Uh, uh data storage. Mm. So, I guess I gotta get a new phone. Oh boy. Oh boy! Still saving for that play PlayStation 4, it's so a fucking no.
Everything right. in order. Yep. Mm-hmm. I do like all Actually, the- Actually, you, you should try and do the, the first one before the, the main quest. Because it's gonna bring you to the same place. Like, oh, well, maybe not. No, right? Because it does that. Hey, I gotta go to- I, 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 I gotta either go to Lithalis or go to- Yeah, I, I recommend going to Lithalum because you're gonna have, like, that main quest. You're gonna do a little bullshit. Nox is gonna be, knock this. Gonna get more uh, stronger, and then more area is gonna be unlocked. Oh shit! All right. Um. But I don't think you can do the pilgrim quest at the same time. So. Eh. So should I? Do, so should I tell him to change? Pilgrim quest. Okay. Just nah, go okay. Quest. But go do the other one after. Yeah. Still, got, I've got all these fucking side quests. Yeah. Well. Like, is it, like, like, I, I still don't know whether I should, like, focus on doing side quests or doing the main quest. Like, should I just do the main quest until, like, things just out-level me and then complete through the side quests, or? Yeah, that could be one way of doing it. Like, the side quests, like, not expire? It's not. I don't remember, yeah. if, I don't think they expire. Is it, um, is it not like, um, not No, like sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Near, near. They don't expire until you get to halfway point of the game, and then you can just bullshit your way back into them. Oh, if there's like a there's a point of no return kind of thing. Yeah, there's a point of no return, but it's not a point of no return because this game is stupid. Oh wait, I know what you're talking about. There's a point of no return, then the end of the game you can just like go back in time essentially to before the point of no return, right? Yes. So I remember I remember Pat talked about that on the podcast when this game was only on PS4. Yeah, that was literally my okay. Well, fuck this game. That, that that was the thing that just pissed me the most. Like, why? Off, like, off why? So allowing you to do things. Hey, not because they couldn't be the like they, they couldn't make a whole game that was fun, that its entire story in an open map, make why a not? second open map for like, Yay, the second half go. of the game. They had to pull a bullshit time travel, time travel that doesn't matter to send you back to the fun part of the game. Because they know the second half is boring and shit. Well, I mean, I don't know... Which, like, is, to me, is the worst game design you can do. Well, I mean, I, which is admitting you fail at game design. Well, I mean, I don't know how the... I don't know how the fucking uh, second game goes, but if it follows, like, with Final Fantasy, then... This, the world essentially blows up, right? Taking a walk on the wild side? The world only blows Nothing up in like Final Fantasy in the middle of nowhere. It is literally yeah. the only one. Well, no, in Final Fantasy VII, the fucking uh, city blows up, and you can't go back to it. Uh, which one goes? I, I mean, there's... If I think I'm there's back... Junon, with, like... That's, like, literally when you're about to finish the game, so Good who gives call. a fuck? Now it's picture <laughs> time. Yeah, but yeah, it's like fucking Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VI, and... I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure... Five and four as well. Like... Like what? at a certain point in the game, the, no, the for, world for blows you, up. For no, you not. get to go to the moon and come back as much as you fucking want, that's the moon's the end game. Eight, you've got like the the last CD, like like the last dungeon, where if you you travel there, you can't come back uh, when all time is compressed. Uh, two, you and uh, two, I think the last when you get to the last dungeon, you can't come back. I think. I barely remember FF2. Uh, FF1, nope. The moment it's literally just the hey, last dungeon. Where you're going? Uh, Didn't mean to do that. Like most of them, it's like you're at the last dungeon. The moment you beat, you beat the dungeon, the game's done. Unlike FF6, which is like, hey, here's the second half of the game. Everything hmm. in order. Yep. Yeah, in five the world gets starts getting eaten by a void. But yeah, in like a lot of Final Fantasy games, like the world just becomes kind of fucked up, so it's kind of just following the theme, and then this one, because they made an open world thing, and they still wanted to follow that, um, tradition, they just give you the ability to just go back. Like, I mean, there's, n like, so, I mean, even, like, from a pure, like, meta perspective, I don't hate that. That's, honestly, like, that's better than, like, the end of Fallout New Vegas. Or Fallout 3. It's like, those games, it's like, oh yeah, the end of this! Like, you either fucking die, or the world is so fucking changed that it'd be unrecognizable. And then they had to release DLCs for both fucking games to allow you to play afterwards. Mm. So, I mean... The, the, way I'm, the way I'm seeing... The, 
there, there's a difference though. This is, is basically you reach the end of the game. This is you reach the halfway point of the game. Now we put you in a corridor and that's your game. But the, the first half, it doesn't matter because it doesn't. Like we literally just like it's literally like a oh yeah at that point ah sure I guess you'll complain too much of the fucking corridor if we don't put you back in the open world. Like I mean, it you... is literally admitting that they couldn't make a second half game a second half of the game that made like that felt like the first well, half. I mean I don't know what the second half is, but like I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt. I mean if if it's got a if it's got a justification to not let you dick around with your fucking bros on a on a heterosexual adventure, then I mean. I can understand that. It's like you can't go around hunting for pictures of baby chocobos when the fucking moon is about to fall on Clock Town, you know? Yeah, but that's not what's happening. Alright. Like the well, second half of the game is okay, uh. Don't spoil it. Like, but I mean, I'll yeah, have to I'll have to see, won't I? Have to see. In about 15 hours. 15 hours. Fuck you, Riku, this game sucks. I mean, I'm enjoying the game so far. The, 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 the controller foibles where they keep switching between the actual letters on the buttons and the goddamn stupid fucking compass arrows pisses me off, but... Eh. Ain't that bad. I mean, you know what? I will say the fucking radio in the game is fucking shit. Where's did Final buy... Fantasy VI? Did, did you buy more, uh... I can't find them. Are you stopping at every gas station? I'm looking... I'm st Like, I am now. Because they are in the gas station. You go to the shop inside and they sell them. Fucking like Final... Like, two game board of CD. Final Fantasy VII? Uh, fine. Fine. I'm playing One Winged Angel. Sure. I mean... You're like, oh, like the music of Final Fantasy VI is so much better. The music of Final Fantasy in general is just great. Final so... Fantasy VI is better. Locke's oh theme is God. the best one. Fuck you. Check that out. Uh, no, I was gonna use stop being like, oh, I only King care about Castle. one thing. If it's not that one thing, I hate it. I'm being an Even ass. You never tasted it. You never tasted it. I am you being an asshole. And the game begins. He deems himself. Come on. Shut the fuck up. I'm literally just bullying Kyamda now. It's okay, let that, board, that robot avenge me. Alright. Especially since we might not be getting more, like, like music from Novo anymore. Yeah. Oh, no, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, because he, um. Sick. Yeah, he's sick. He has the Japanese disease. Yeah. One Japanese people get when they don't want to work anymore. It sucks that that's the only way to retire in Japan. Hang on, the game is really loud. I need to turn it down. Turn it down to like 70. I did not... Alright, I broke the missile thing off. This fucking twin daggers thing is really weird. I like it. That's what we've been telling in Monster Hunter, but you keep beating a bitch about it. No, because this and, one turns into a fuck- your MP. I'm watching my MP. But I, but I like this one because it turns into a, a, a um, what you call it? Like a, like a, it turns into a glaive, which is neat. I want to aim for the middle. Wait, what? What just hurt me? What just hurt me? Oh, and Prompto's dead. Alright. None of this shit. Everyone regroup. Yeah. 
Do I have a Phoenix? Phoenix yes, tank? you do. They are at the top. They're under your potions. Man, it's a good thing is all these Phoenixes shedding feathers. Please tell me this will do good damage. Oh, he's not weak to guns. Nope, he, he's he's doesn't oh, like is. Piercer though. His yeah. Piercer Wait. works on armored targets, alright? Oh yeah, right. It does have that. Forget about that. So like, doesn't even matter if it's weak to guns, so long as. There it is. I would stop using the gun because it's a bad weapon. <laughs> yeah, I'm mostly just trying to stay away from it because I don't know what it's. Ah, oh, it's doing that. That's what it's doing. Yeah. So you need to keep the dodge button on. I can't. I can't hold the dodge button and fucking fu and fucking shoot. Like. This is why you're bad at this game. Fuck. Like, the fucking the buttons are, I, I need my thumb to hit both buttons. Thank Fuck you, you on. We must regroup. Sure. Okay. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. You want Ignis! Fuck's sake. That is really strong. What? Whoa. How did that fucking hit me? That was above my head. Like that? The fuck? Is that hit rocks? So I'm going for its face. Because that's what he always does. You go to his face, How? he institutes you. Why? Go for his legs. But, but why? But I'm fucking below him when he does when he does it. It doesn't matter. It's all over him. Just go for his leg, make him drop, and then attack his face. And then he does the same thing. All right. Dodge is just bad. I fucking. Okay, what did he do? What did he do to make that happen? Fuck it. Just using this regroup. Before he just drops. Hey, Magnus, instructions! Everyone form up! I hate I hate this thing, because I can't tell what fucking things it's doing. Alright, I'm just gonna switch to gun. I'll do it won't do as much damage, but fuck it. At least I know what he what he's doing. Pronto, you're up! Hi there, opening! Alright, now he's standing on the card. Rather you not do that, sir. Alright, there he goes. It does for the time being at least. Reinforcements may be on the oh, yeah. we should leave. Oh, okay. Okay then. Magnificent. Boom. Ma mango boom. Uh I was like just getting back in the car Hero before they, sat, they spawn again. Oh, they already did. Great. Uh you fucked. That was a fucking that was immediate. Yeah. Welcome to the pain of dealing with a fucking golem all of 
Oh, no, what the fuck their name is? Don't oh, Nifs. Right. They keep spawning. Oh. You can get like literally three combats of three groups of DCI in a row. You just don't get out of the fucking section soon. And they all have guns and they all bitches. Ah, uh, dude, the fucking guns are the worst part. Yes, they are. These guys are weak to guns, alright. The thing with them is that basically you should look for, like, wait for the reload time. Because they, they shoot in burst. Yeah. And that one you were shooting was not weak to gun. I mean, you it says like, he's weak to gun in the top well, look left. Look at the screen. You see what's orange in the top left? Oh, he that, that guy was weak. he was weak to gun. <laughs> Fucking these snipers. Ignis, Ignis, if you could stop. Fuck it. Why is Ignis walking away? Because he's wounded. Why? I, I'm trying to get over to him. Oh no, the useless one died. Switching <laughs> Ignis was really not a good idea. Ah, uh, yeah. Switch, switch, switch the glass cannon is only works up close to my guy with guns. Uh, these guys are all weak to knives, so... Oh, for... Oh, he doesn't have a dodge move, does he? So that's great. But I do have this fucking jump move. I can just do that. That'll do. Now hurry up and get to the damn car. <sighs> that was a rather tiring endeavor. <sighs> like, now please, for the love of God, don't spawn anymore. Oh yeah, fuck it, the fucking frame rate again. I don't know what does this. I don't know what causes this. I, I fucking, I've raised the bitrate. I'm just gonna set the bitrate to 5,000 and f see if anything, see if it fucking changes anything. Everything in order. Yep. Mm-hmm. A dead end. Then do a Yui. Alright, so we're 30 frames a second again. Oh boy. Just... F6 is it ta is it tail par rest area? Can I get there already? Kokobo post. Carnix. I don't think I can go there yet. Because I haven't been there yet. One thing I will say though, Sephiroth's theme is pretty good. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good, pretty bueno. It's like, is that, is that right a bit, right good bit of edge? Ugh, English is hard. Sephiroth! It's that Noctis edge. Yeah. Noctis looks at Sephiroth and he's like, I wish that was my dad. Sephiroth is a 
and Sephiroth just turns to him and says, I wouldn't accept a little bitch. <sighs> While he is be himself being a little bitch. Straight up though, I want, I want, I want Final Fantasy VI remade and fully voiced. I want, I want Final Fantasy VI in this engine. It's Sony. They, uh, sorry, it's Square Enix. They don't look at the past. And even if they do, it's o it's only to fucking trick you. Yes. They, they announced the Final Fantasy VII remake and then stopped developing it the second their stock turned around. <sighs> the only way to get that remake is to make sure s they make sure Square Enix's stock stays in the negative. Mm. <sighs> like fucking like like I really I just wanna I just mostly I just wanna hear a fucking actor try and do the Kefka laugh. <laughs> Wait. Well, wait. Didn't, didn't we already have that in Dissidia? Did did we? I I never played Dissidia, so I don't know. Like, like I want I want a voice actor to do like sound for sound the Kefka laugh. I just want it. Cause was did didn't they reuse Kefka's laugh in fucking uh? Like from uh, like a fucking like NES game, like it's like so it's like reversed and pitched up and all that from like a fucking NES game. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure. Oh boy, driving to Lus <laughs> This is the first time the fucking the fucking car has been to this city. Well, now you get the. Well, now you get the heterosexual bro, bro, uh, bromance of, of, the, of the road trip. Yeah. But you know, it was a little bit more ho heterosexual. Yeah, it was a little bit more heterosexual when we were riding giant cocks, though. And you gotta get that maximum heterosexuality. What's this fucking side quest down here? Oh my god, he's fucking reversing into the parking space. It's getting hot out here. Just need to pull in somewhere cool. <laughs> yeah. Because he's an absolute man. Uh, sleeping in a nice room tonight? Yes, I'm certain we can secure suitable accommodations nearby. Thank God here. Pretty much, if I can't pull. What through. the fuck? What the fuck? There's a goddamn neck beard here. Hi, <laughs> I fell oh, yeah, into this guy. video game. Oh, oh god, I forgot that guy. Good. City's most famous hunters. Right? God, not real. <laughs> Got out while you could. Huh? Oh, lady. What the fuck is this voice actor? This doesn't match. You need cash? Cause I need people. What do you say? Hold on. The job's yours. If you're willing and able. That depends. What's He's literally wearing a the Sephiroth meme shirt. Just need a couple of photos is all. Live, Just eat, causes. breathe, media. One from the south, one from the north. I suppose we can manage that. Yeah, that's great, kid. Music to my ears, let me tell you. Now, you're gonna need a camera. So I mean, it's it more than your character. We've already got one. <laughs> <laughs> Came prepared. I mean, huh? guess you're ready what to do you roll. expect it to be? Come back as soon as you get the shots. I'll like, right here waiting to short of breath, do. kind of, like, whiny sounding. Eh. Like, someone, like, that looks like this. You expect so to hear, like, the kind of person you'd hear in a fucking, uh, like, a video made by a brony complaining about the new fucking season of My Little Pony. I can't believe they did this to my favorite character! Nyeh! And he's like clutching a fucking Rainbow Dash Dakimakura or something stupid like that. Maybe we should have thought about this. Uh, how so? Something suspect. There must be a couch. Chip Fedora. Guess we'll find yeah. out. Malay. Did you see that over there, knocked? What about it? So I don't know. So I, so that fucking tweet I was talking about? It has now reached a thousand retweets tonight. <laughs> 
I, I, I think I'm famous now. Yeah. Hey, no, why did you sh why did you share some of that fame, fam? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Go subscribe to my favorite YouTuber. People, He's hungry. The, the the people who are retweeting are sports fan nah, sports Let's fans nah. Welcome uh, back. Oh I'm my god, he's based idea. off a real fan who won a contest. Yeah. Oh my god, that explains a lot. That explains yeah, far that. too much. You, That's sad. <laughs> Welcome. How do you, like, win one of those- You fucking win one of those contests and you you look like fucking the internet yeah. thinks you look like. <laughs> oh no, he's having a stroke again. What the fuck? <sighs> Yeah, the big thing yeah. doesn't mean you're in yeah. uh, Say hello to Kratos. You're Wait, right. for real? He'll be fine, don't kind worry. Kind of. <laughs> we ought to take a closer look he looks at this like so-called dick. Kind of. <laughs> then look no further than the outlook. We can use the viewer things. I still no can't fucking believe that they sight, actually had Vix's haircut. Start. Let's see what we can glean of Nox's condition. Like, that's actually great. That's actually how I would expect it to fucking- Can I just export this model into fucking VR chat? <laughs> Uh, uh. Oh yeah, and prepare to meet, well, this equivalent of Kevka. Oh boy. What the fuck? Why does this game hate OBS so much? Are you sure it's not just OBS hating this game specifically? <laughs> yeah, because it doesn't happen with any other game I fucking LP. What if I... You know what? What if I just put it on fucking display capture? I wonder if it'll do it. What, Riku? Seriously, that was my first thought when I saw the character. I mean, hey, if we got Kefka, I mean, I'm down. It's like, it's not Kefka, he's just trying oh, to be oh Kefka. Oh that's worse. Uh oh. What about window capture? Okay, that's not as bad. Man, that hurts. Another headache. This is not normal. Fucking, they got these guys. Got to get fucking him some goddamn it leave or something. Holy shit! Give him some fucking. Oh, ass. Thi oh, what this asshole from the restaurant. I'm not so sure it is. Yeah, that guy. Still a suspicious stranger. Ah, uh, yes, villain of the ga villain of the video game. Like this one, from the deep, the Archean calls. Yet on deaf ears, the god's tongue falls. The king made to kneel in pain, he crawls. Can... So how do we keep him on his feet? You need only. You know what? If a meteor fell and it was and Visit like it was like fucking like exuding feet. sexual energy, I can take you. And it was doing it like and centuries animal. after the fact. Take I probably would have. Watch our backs. Fair enough. Let's do it. You know, I probably would have like gone and sent someone to find see to why it's radiating money, such, such sexual energy. Calls for an yeah, prepare for an annoying Please part of the game. Yeah. I ever find the highlights? Drive. Oh That's boy. I left my automobile. Did I ever She's find the highlights thing. in here? Pales next to your uh, I don't know how to go and edit my avatar. So we take two vehicles, a convoy of sorts, shall we? I also don't know where to get more clothes, because I see all these people running around with really pretty clothes. How do I be pretty? Uh, I just saw somebody fucking on Twitter complaining about how their kindergartner did lockdown drills. As as though without guns there wouldn't be lockdown drills, because there's fucking insane people that they will lock down. Like, there was a, um, there was a stabbing near my school, and, and they locked down. So... Fucking. Oh, for fuck's sake, Ignis! The roads are perilous at night. Ignis, we are on He's a quest! Running. You're not uh, in the quest right now. You need to get out and wait for him to get to his fucking car. Yeah, sounds good. I don't even know what the fucking. Uh -huh. Alright. All set. Allow me to do the honor of assigning your driver. What? I choose you. Uh, how about Ignis? How about Ignis do it? Fuck oh, you. Yours, Ignis. Come now, he always drives. Be a friend and let him. Risk Ignis fucking change. loves driving. Shut up. 
Ignis loves driving because I tell him he loves driving because I'm the king. Let us be off. That is the best mentality to have. I mean, I mean, isn't that how kings work? Of but, course it is. But your highness, I don't Sir, like getting. But your highness, I don't like receiving butt fucking. No, you like butt fucking because I say you like butt fucking. Oh, very well, sir. Your subjects do not have free will. They yes. they die. I'm starting to think that Nas thinks life is like uh, Crusader King too. You mean it's not? <laughs> Okay. I can't find any fault with that. Look at this friend. Look at this fucking friendship moment here. Look at this friendship. Yeah. Why so many pictures of butts? Why not? Uh, look, Pronto has a finish. Pronto. He's an ass man. <laughs> Behold, the wild Ignis about to get fucking murdered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hey, actually. Pronto, me. This is actually a pretty good. Hey cool Pronto, show. maybe you should. Hey Pronto, maybe you can help us out with Babel. Nah, nah, fam. The the the, the lighting's just too perfect. I, nah, I, I need I need to I need to I need to fucking. Nah, I need to do that. Can he? This looks like a fucking romantic picture, right here. Have we confirmed the new ship? <laughs> I wish. You thought you wanted an Ignis, not a Gladio. You're gonna make Gladiator happy. Uh, uh fuck. Gladios has a thing for traps. Prompto. Really. Prompto, why? Why is your hair like this? I feel like Mike Wazowski now. Oh, and I need to install them into the car? Well, shit, I guess I have to go to Hammerhead. Why can I only fucking upgrade my car in one gas station? Like, why can't I go to any of the other 20-odd fucking gas stations? Story. Pretty much. But it's expensive. I'm, I honestly have no idea what's going on, and I'm just, like, I, I know this. <laughs> Alright. But, like, seriously, the fucking gas you station you up... Sydney's the rack. The gas station you you upgrade at is on like the far right side of the map. Like fuck, it's so far away from everything. Ugh. Well, so we need to get all we can out of Sydney. God damn it. They they paid good money for that fucking uh, model. Oh, the cleavage. Well, why would they have to put their fucking Oh, their their goddamn uh, mechanic shop in the middle of nowhere. Haven't they ever heard of franchises? Haven't they ever heard of capitalism? Hey, again, all of it is for plot convenience and story. There is no no logical reason it's for hardly, it. Hardly, it's hardly. And, and to be fair, and no, tell yourself this. To be fair, you have this garage right there, and most of the distance to travel is actually not clear, really bigger than what would race. be a big city. The car is so slow. Lose sight of me, and you'll lose your way. And no tail. Gee whiz, my my stream is like so It's one of them, like suspend your disbelief to tell yourself that there's actually like, hey, five or six cities in this area, which is like, maybe I don't know. First Golden, and then fifteen miles. What coincidence, huh? Way too convenient to be coincidence. My reckon he's following us around. But to what end? That question bothers me deeply, as does his yeah. origin. Yeah, you can't, you can't go faster than him, and you can't lose him. Oh, great. But it's even harder to imagine him as a Lucian. I like hate I say, that. Worst part of the game. Well, no. not true. A I, bad I, I, part of the game. I never before. thought I'd run into a fucking uh, car trailing mission in a goddamn but Final Fantasy game. Maybe our only way into the disc of Kothis. I hate Woods any kind of trailing missions in any game. Or... Car Especially trailing missions are the one. worst, though. He's nothing more than a I mean, creepy old I, If at least you could be like, you know, using a, gig, a gigantic right sword there. to cut down well, pursuers, that would be came fun. Up with a plan. Why uh, can't I be on Chocobos doing this? Ah, because you needed to have the car. Yeah, no, but why? But why do cars Modern exist? Age. You need to move to the Not future, to Nazi. How are the headaches? Fine for now, but they come without warning. Yeah, I could crash this car with them. Oh no! Stop if you need to. All right. 
Hey, it's pr it's the progressive times. Yeah, it's not us. Why would you keep a horse? Because so that's horses. basically what they are. No, basically just horses. Oh, no, because horses cap. suck. Somebody else wants a proper. <laughs> no, they're basic, nice they're still round, basically just horses. No, chocobos are better than horses. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. So, like. you know, no, horse got replaced by cars. No. No just be, just be happy that he still uses the fucking horse. It's the, the same reason time. I hate fucking Shadowrun. Get your fucking uh, cyberpunk out of my fantasy and vice versa. What say we continue on you know? Office. The Archeum's not yes. going anywhere? No. Neither are we under your stewardship. Shut up. So we make camp with Arden. Hell no. <sighs> So Might was well it Bully Beyond up. today? Oh, I'm afraid I've never really been one for the outdoors. I shall foot the bill, so let us stay at the caravan over yonder. Tell your BXP to save the game. All right. Now this feels like a road trip. Hooray! Yeah. Well, she'll be like Crompto's... Uh, Crompto. Uh, Noctis' creepy uncle or something. Because he's dressed like fucking... Like a fucking Lucan. Whatever the fuck you call the royal family. I don't like the person in your chat. He's mean to chocobos. Chocobos are chocobos are better than chocobos are better than horses because they're fucking easier to feed than horses. Chocobos will eat literally anything. They're faster than horses. They take up less space than horses. Arden is molesting Prompto now. They're the ideal. He does that. Yeah. He just does. Like they're Get used to it. They're cuter than horses. They taste better than horses. To be fair, a chocobo would probably taste like chicken. A horse tastes like beef. Now, nah, horse tastes like horse, and it's a very not really, not really. Have you have you tasted horse meat? Yes. Uh, so it doesn't taste like beef. It tastes. I have a not steak of it. horse tastes the same as a steak of beef. I disagree. Well, well, are you sure it's just not because your family can't truly. fucking cook? That uh, might also be. If it. you'd rather not be in photos. <laughs> like seriously, like I, I tasted horse, moose, deer. Like I understand the difference in My taste and meat. True. A horse tastes kind of like beef. Honestly, the, the only difference is it, 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 the, the meat has a different it's texture. She's okay, wherever she's headed. Oh boy, flashback! Can you... Please, He's got a female flashback. Oh boy, here's Luna Freya! I shall do what I can to ease your suffering. She pulls out a gun and fucking shoots him. Allow me to ease your suffering. Close your eyes. She puts a fucking 9mm to his head and pulls the trigger. He had can green. I couldn't do anything else. Have you seen his face? <laughs> Just slits his throat. Easier, faster. Doesn't waste yeah. ammo. Deliver us from darkness. Just bang! Sorry everyone, the healing the healing gun didn't work. <laughs> maybe next time. Maybe That's maybe someday someone would be pure enough of heart for the that magic healing bullets to work. I trust that relief will come in a matter of days. It's a miracle. We what do you mean that a bullet yet we're still It's still a still miracle. You cured my syphilis. Thank you, Lady Luna Freya. Oh, uh. Lady Luna Freya. Oh man, there's a there's a lot of syphilis in this small town. You must be exhausted. A fair bit. Even the women are gay. Grateful than anything. Seriously though, like fucking, like that's the annoying thing about putting like like modern modern stuff in fantasy. Like jarring a difference. Yeah, like fucking having cars while you have like swords and having like don't think being married uh, it just doesn't not to work out. It doesn't work. That doesn't make right any away. sense. It's like in you fucking can't just um. Let yourself go with the eyes of the world on you. It's like fucking sh uh, Shadowrun. Like yeah, fucking. You have, like, robot arms so and fucking, like, technology and robots and all that, and then you have, like, elves and stuff, and it doesn't... I don't... It, it's just... Ugh. 
Imagine What's if you had mean? a shotgun in Dragon oh, Age or something. Really? Yeah, like that's exactly it. That, that's now. the thing. It's like feel sorry for Lady fantasy and cyberpunk. Like, <laughs> he's got you. Fantasy fantasy is, is, buy some everyone would be like music. Oh, I am. She could do so fantasy much is naturally you. opposed to technology. Yeah, like especially because magic and technology are the same thing. <laughs> Memory is a what? Final Fantasy IX. Oh God, do I have to remember Final Fantasy IX? Was that the one? Was that the one with the ha 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 ha? No, that was ten. Oh, that was ten. the best scene. Of they all, all time. they all blend together. <laughs> and the shitty thing is, people try and defend that by going, "No, but it was on purpose. They were trying to like get out their sadness and all that." Drama yeah, but no, that doesn't make it any better. No. It was cringeworthy. There's a yeah. reason it got on the internet oh, sure. because yeah. it was so cringeworthy. That's the point of no return. I trust you're not having the point of no return. Oh no! It was. By the point a of no return, I mean you're stuck for the next hour or so. All right. Unless okay. you fuck up really bad, in that case, I fucking find no harm. Let's fuck up. Like then. a persona stream. Oh boy. Take three hours to kill a boss. Should take thirty minutes. Whoever thought of tapping into the meteor's power was Wait, a genius. Wait, the point of no return where he, where he, where he for now the cannot go back to his old no. pieces that broke no. off when the meteor fell. He is oh, far, no far away, away from that. But the Archean caught it, and he's still Like we're there. talking about the Archean, the Archean, like that's this god being catching a fucking meteorite and all that, while we're driving around in a car on our fucking iPhones playing Candy Crush. Makes you wonder what it's like. It down makes there sense if you bash your head against a wall for an hour or two. Like, I'm so, like if you want to have like a modern a modern thing with fantasy elements, modern so you know, like modernize it fully. Well, the camera like right. try to make the magic yeah, more like modern. Flames, it should be okay. Yeah. I think. Oh, or go with what it is. Breaks. This is magic Maybe from a mythological car. area, oh, no, and did. now the technology has catched up, up which is what this audience. is. But, but at the same back. time, like, why would you, why would you be using swords and shit? As they say, better to try and fail the thing is, is that it just because as you can see, away. guns well, suck. <laughs> the real guns well, wouldn't. You just do what you gotta. Well, they suck in this because it's magic. Like can I'm you... not saying you can't have magic, but like when you modernize things, hey, like. Iggy. You ha like when when things get modernized, well, things have to become shouldn't. explainable. Even if they couldn't, you know? it'd still be all right. Like having yeah, like gods literally walking around oh, is a bit of a really? jarring no, concept. So if you explain it as like, oh no, that's just, that's just a race of beings and they do this and sometime. this, or well, okay. oh no, this is a natural phenomenon that exists. You know, explain it. You know. Yeah, but that's not what it is. This is really the gods walking around. I know, and it's why it's jarring. It's mythology, man. Is that even, like, try to modernize even that. Like, it just doesn't look right when you do it like this. Yeah. Hey, Ignis. Like, how's it feel? Like, the, the way Warcraft does it is, is actually pretty interesting. Warcraft doesn't say. have actual technology. It does. Stranger, it's got fucking helicopters, you fuck. Appreciate the confidence. That's not real technology. Helicopters are, yeah, the, br the Bernoulli effect? Nah, that's fake bullshit. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, they, they have yeah they have helicopters, but they don't have all the rest of the technology. They've got they've got quite a bit, but what they do have is explained, and they even explain that their magic is just math. That's kind of weird, but well, the thing is, like, they, it's like um, they explain it in the novels, as, like more so than actually in the games. But the way magic works is that arcane is like an element, like on the periodic table, and it's something that's manipulatable by people that have. That have the element inside their bodies kind of things like if you got talent for being a mage then you have a large amount of the arcane element inside your body and you um like say you want to cast a fireball right you do the math in your head and then you inf then you use the arcane in your body which would be your mana to um basically excite the molecules in the air in the space around your hand. No, just has his, like, can, can, his can opinion stuff. Yeah, and, 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 and you excite it enough that the air catches on fire, that's a fireball, then you throw it. That's the explanation given in the books, and it and it makes a, it makes enough sense when you take into account that their physics are a little bit different. Like, they have an element literally called arcane that translates so into math. And the thing is, the is that, um... 
it actually also even explains how uh, mages are kind of more studious type of yeah it's, it's math people. like magic is math like yeah that, and, and, Alex, and it works for how mages are in most of lore like very studious yeah. people and and Alex is like one of the Cosmo books you click through on the vault already explained the arc the Archean and other gods are celestial race from an elevated plane yeah so I I did read that <laughs> like I like but, but at the same time still, it's like God. when you've got yeah that's still God like elevated plane is code word for I don't fucking know they're, they're gods like you you could they're, even just say they're aliens like how like the Titans in the Titans in Warcraft aren't gods they're just aliens. Like, like aliens that are like the size of planets, and planets are their and like basically like Titan eggs can be mistaken for planets because they're so fucking big, but they're still just aliens. Like, and you can explain that by saying that they have like less oxygen in their native planet because that actually like it, um, yeah. has been shown to like is that what back when is? dinosaurs were around for example they actually yeah. because of more oxygen be they were larger to grab that power. Fun fact of the day yeah. i mean grab it and go. The, the titans like essentially they are they're basically they're basically living planets um tr like uh oh god it's fucking difficult to explain they're essentially like living like their eggs their eggs like are big enough to be planets so their eggs develop atmospheres, and when the egg hatches, the atmosphere just kind of clings to the titan. So the titans are essentially breathing their own atmospheres that cling to them because they're so big they have their own gravity. Essentially. That, let's That's completely very... ignore the laws of physics, it by the way, on but, how atmosphere itself is I mean, formed, there's, also the sure. there's also the fact that the physics in Azeroth are literally different because space is, space is literally made of magic in, in fucking Warcraft. Like the like the the great dark beyond and the twisting nether are literally like one big clusterfuck of just loose arcane energy. So like at that point, like you can just put that down to oh the physics are different. You know what I mean? Oh, it's a great sword. That's pretty neat. And if you try to disregard that, you're just being belligerent for the sake of being belligerent. Yeah. Like, if they explain how the physics are different, that's great, but so far, everything just seems to be normal-ass Earth. Except there's Except... fucking weird magic shit that doesn't really jive with everything else that's going on. Like, how does this phasing shit work? Like, if I could get, like, an explanation, that'd be great. Here we go again! This one's huge! Get away! Quick I mean, if it gets explained by the end, then that's fine, but God damn it, fucking OBS. As someone who is also as blind as you, I agree. <laughs> I hope you love God of War. No, oh no, I get to mash. What if I just didn't press anything? Would I have eventually just fallen and died? Yeah. Oh man, I should have just let that happen. And when then go back to your save point. Fuck, that would be bad. Go back to your save point so that I can die. Oh look, it's Titan. Or Atlas even. Same thing. And like I say, I hope you like your God of War, because there's Kratos. It's just a fucking... Why, though? Damn. This is the Archean? Seems we woke the big guy up. Because why not? He's trying to tell me something. That, but what? That's you look like a, you everything. look no, like an emo you kid. Okay? Thank heavens you're safe. Is there a way back up? No, but there's a path. Gonna see where it leads. You two try to get down. Very well. We'll look for a way. Just go. Be just slide. Now. Just take the you slide. We're going where? Don't rush off on your own, huh? Don't get left you behind. You took the slide and you Watch nearly guy. fell down. So. Can I take a picture of this. How do I, how do I take a picture? Yeah. <laughs> um. Is there a reason he just stands there, or is that like, or did I miss something? No idea. So he's just standing there. Because yeah, he, he just not? he just hangs out there holding up the meteor. Just... But like, I'm not against like fucking having 
technology and fa technology and magic and stuff together, but when you're in like uh, when you're in it's fantasy, you don't have to anymore. explain things. Um, but the second you bring be. science and Just modern technology into it, because yeah, of how modern technology works, you kind of have to have an explanation, even if it's based entirely around the fact that the other world has a completely different laws of physics. At least explain them. That yeah. Is basic. Yeah. Like, like in Shadowrun, it's just like the fucking epitome example. Why the f why the fuck do, do dragons and shit exist? Because. And it's like, oh, they just, they just the the explanation is, oh, they were always there. That's not an explanation. That's. Like, at least. Say that they're like because some it's a shadow run, it's, it's a bandit city that brought up the modern world. So yeah, technology got developed, and but, but the you, fantasy part of it was still there. You can't just no, it's not. It's saying that fucking it's a regular normal fucking world, the thing, and then just randomly the like fucking dragons show up. It's not randomly. Like, randomly the, the dragons... The entire thing of the Shadowrun is that they are cycles. Feels like I'm about to come and off. every few cycles, the magic comes back and and, and comes... Uh, leaves and then come back. The, the 1,000 years of, like, modern time, like, uh, from the 1,000 to, to, to the... To, to the... Tw uh, to 2070... What was it? No, 2012, sorry. That was a cycle of no magic. What? I mean, like, I, I haven't seen the game, but, like, w what caused these cycles to happen? Is there some sort of outside force? Or is it just random? Yeah, like, like that's that's the thing that doesn't make any sense. Like, just, it seems like... It would be like... the same thing as telling Nas why a setting does X, but Nas doesn't want to approve of it because then that would be the no. setting telling him why it does that. No, the setting just, like, if, they, if, if fucking Shadowrun went, like, Okay, so the reason why there's cycles is because, like, I don't know, I'm pulling out my ass. Say, for example, um, fucking, uh, the, every thousand years the planets align in a certain way, which causes ley lines, which is, an, which is like, an established thing in mythology, so you could just use that, that's free. So yeah, the planets align in a certain way, which causes ley lines to activate, which causes, which causes magic. But then, then turning around and saying, oh yeah, like, a good, most of the fucking human population was elves and dwarves and shit. And when these ley lines are, erupt, people just h horrifically mutate into orcs and elves for reasons. Right? If it was, like, every thousand years, like, they, these things activate, and then, like, the elves and dwarves, like, come out of where they've been hiding. You know? Like, That's not, there's you know, no fucking reason for elves and dwarves and all that to be humans. Or vice versa. Like, it doesn't... Like, cause would like would, modern, would, wouldn't someone like no doing the human here. genome project notice that like a good deal of their samples have this weird quick. fucking gene that if they artificially activate it, it makes them magic elves? They totally they experiment on that. It yet. They didn't know it existed. But they'd still experiment on that. As much as you want, that. you can't just fuck with the genome as much as that. Like you, you they'd still. They'd still that... find the genes, and they'd be like, "Okay, there's these weird genes that like this portion of the population has that no other gener that no other population has. What the fuck are these? Someone would have yeah. noticed it. Yeah, That's someone would have noticed it. People then they would have tried an experiment on it, right? and it wouldn't have and, uh, like came up to anything because what now? it wasn't in that cycle. I said or a worst case scenario thing, it's like it just got like the ley line activated." Every one of idea. these got Save the it. fucking genes to input into them with a ley line activated. <laughs> there. I mean, this entire part, like the how why the magic Calm cycle down. hasn't been explained, so the DMs could go and pull up whatever bullshit they wanted it to be for their campaigns. I, I still think that mixing fantasy, like putting fucking elves and shit in cyberpunk, is. And goblin, goblinification has dying. been called a virus. So, wait, hold on. Back to Final Fantasy. So that guy was just standing there and then just randomly. Yeah, he just randomly yeah. decided to kick our ass. Yeah. I've, I've You're kind not supposed to stay there for five minutes either. I've I've kind of I've, to move I've kind of checked out a little bit. That's his welcome. He 
hate to see how he treats intruders. I, but yeah, that was really stupid. Just like he was just standing there, just like, let's move. Oh, I don't, hey, look, those guys are there. He just staring, he staring, he's just sitting earlier. there glaring at you, and then like you progress a certain degree of distance. He's like, ah, oh, fuck you guys, use a bitch. There are elves in Cyberpunk 2017. The thing is, they're not proper elves. We're talking about, unless you're asking, because we're not, we're talking about, um, we're, we're talking about uh, Shadowrun, which is a derivative get, which is a derivative idea from Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk was in Cyberpunk. <sighs> Cyberpunk 2020 was in was a tabletop game that was invented in the 90s, and then shortly after, oh si and shortly after, Shadowrun was invented as Get like a derivative kind of thing. Are you a man of royal blood, or aren't you? And also, Gladiolus is mad at me. Sort of. I'm a bastard. Above all else. I'm just a man. A man, a man with a vagina. His fate is in your hands. Your life ain't yours alone. You have to live for what others, not only yourself. We Amicidia are the king's sworn shields. Well, God, the, the king first time Gladio put you bullshit it's on you at time for no reason. I've embraced my duty. But even then, like, Gladiolus is yelling at Noctis because Noctis has a fucking headache because of his fucking king powers activating. When you can't focus, I focus for you. It's my job, so let me do it, alright? Like, right. he's actually- he's literally getting mad at Noctis right. because Noctis' bloodline is giving him fucking acute pain. Yeah, like, the entire thing about, like, Sorry. Gladio Go keeps out. getting pissed at Noctis throughout the series. Like, it's not Noctis' fault. Don't rush ahead on your yeah. own. And it's always for the dumbest reason too. Dad, huh? I'm grateful to him. Just doing his job. Hmm? But isn't that your phone? Hello! Lol taking a selfie with the giant. Ignis. And Alnix, I will go and look at the fucking lore guide after this. Because if they explain it, then they explain it. Alright. I still won't be happy with it because by god does it look goofy. For these guys to be running around with swords like we're about to have when guns company. exist. It's about to get even hotter Everyone here. Everyone's in the background with a gun. Like, fucking, the Japanese banned guns because the samurai ruling class, like, was getting their shit wrecked by peasants. Yeah, and then the Meiji era oh, happened, it. and all the I swords know. got banned, and the gun were the only thing anyone used. Well, because the non they did, swords didn't get banned, the swords were just... Like, because guns existed, swords were irrelevant. And oh, that's a good fucking warp strike ability! And you could, uh, you just, like, make, upgrade the guns with mags if you say that swords are effective because of magic. Yeah. Like, why not just make magic swords? Magic guns, even. I, you know, I will say though, I really like the idea of the armager. Like just the fact that you can just ah fuck, that you just have all your sword, all your weapons activate at once. Uh, that's a really that, neat. That'd be very cool concept. I will not argue with that. Like armager, or I want to be fucking Gilgamesh from Fate Stay Night. Like. You know what would be an inter like would would be a cool like thing if you wanted to have traditional weaponry in a magic using thing, like if you had a school of magic that was kind of like these um, royal arms where he like pulls them out of his ass and they're very clearly magical, like essentially a fucking like a method of combat that was just ar all armager all the time, or even like kind of what he's got now, but with more of an emphasis on the warp strike. Because as it stands right now, using warp strike all the time, like, is a good way to get yourself killed because it just drains your mana like no fucking business. So like, if you had like a guy whose like entire magic skill was teleport in, fucking cut someone up and teleport out, but at the same time you could also argue that it would why not just use a shotgun and do that? Yeah, like. If you have the technology for this, you should have the technology for a gun, and then use that, and then upgrade the gun, and hey! perhaps, like, be able I'm to warp here! in a bunch of guns and, like, shoot them all at once. Probably because it's more effective to enchant one sword than it is to enchant 1,000 bullets. I mean, like I said, like... 
Like, the only the person who I would think would be, like... Quit screwing with my yeah, Let me guess you watch this cutscene first. You gotta be kidding me. And he just got fucking punched. He should be dead. Okay, I was holding the fucking point warp button. Why did that not work? Alright. So, like, Noctis's power is probably the one thing that justifies using swords. Because he can teleport around. So if... So if everyone else was using, like, like say, Gladio was using a fucking, like, shotgun, Ignis had, like, a sniper rifle, Prompto can use his pistols, but then, like, Noctis was, like, bamfing around with his swords and axes and stuff, I could accept that, because then he has a power set that negates the advantage of guns. The thing is, right. nobody else here has that. So why are they using melee weapons? Are you serious? Looks like I've got no choice. Also, um, what I was thinking of when I was saying enchanting guns, I was thinking of, like, enchanting the... The barrel, essentially, I mean, right? Yeah, like, basically, like, make it so that that kind of wraps the bullet in that element and then fires it. This ain't gonna work. We gotta run! Or whatever the term is, I don't know. <laughs> well, I can't have you dying here. Come on! Oh, okay. I didn't. How was I supposed to know that was coming? Fucking hell! Like the camera's so far up my ass. Oh, it's it's just a matter of just walking and holding the block button. Got it. Flee for your life, but don't sprint because that'll get you fucking killed. That that Titan was just standing there, and then he just decided at one point. You know what? I don't like you. I'm yeah, yeah. I don't like I don't like this upstart king. Uh, do I like... Do I like D&D 5th Edition? Yes, I do! I like D&D 5th Edition, but it, because it's... But the thing is, D&D is explicitly a swords and sorcery thing, you know? He just won't quit. And it's like, in a lot of, like... Uh, in a lot of rule sets where you have um, guns, melee weapons are there as like a backup weapon in case you run out of bullets. You know? Yeah, that Don't makes can't keep this that, up. that makes total, total sense. But this game is using them as a main. As the main weapon, yeah. <laughs> I'm parrying this giant fist with a fucking with the. I mean, I, I mean, it is a magic great sword that I just got from my dad, but still, it's still, it's still just a fucking sway hander. Look, we told you this is God of War. Yeah. Fair enough. That should kill. That sh the fucking inertia shift of that should have killed yes. me. Yes, it would. It should. I, I I played this entire part and I was like, this is so crap. You're dead. Shut up. Like th th dead. that's dead. that's even worse than like. Like regular uh, yeah. Final Fantasy. Uh, yeah. That's fucking like. Of war. Yeah. Uh, Riku and Yonda play also the, the play the Final Fantasy MMO. I don't. Also, the hand, also the hand striking down to a knock back. When you just did your ground, it's not a gigantic hand landing. It should have like damaged the ground at least. It would have caused yeah. an earthquake. Yeah. And then like right there, like, um, like but like, like when you were hanging. With the second, like, somehow you're, like, that's a better thing that it Don't stand the back of your burning. I'm just gonna sit here and hold the fucking dodge button, because that seems to be what it wants me to do. Are they really firing? Why is he focusing on me? They're throwing, they're firing harpoons at him. Probably because he's this is dumb! Why is this god being dumb? Like, the entire concept is more like, okay, here's these guys trying to use technology to over to kill a fucking god, and the god's like, no, you can't harm me, you need to be the king. But they're fucking attaching- I mean, maybe he's a- I mean, maybe he's a- I mean, maybe he's a Sumerian god, who's their fucking stupid. That is true, they are. It's in both Pantheon gods, like, Greek, not that far either. 
No, the Greek gods are smart. They're just too drunk and turn somebody in the Greek gods are the Greek issue with the Greek gods is is it? Yeah, the issue with the Greek gods isn't that they're stupid. Is that they're fucking selfish. Like the Greek gods are so busy wanting to get their dick. Yeah, they want there. That's that's actually the main theme with Greek myth. The Greek gods are so busy trying to get their collected dicks wet, except for Artemis, of course, that um, that they don't care. Like, that's why Artemis is the only uh, Greek god that's competent, but also she gets her ass beat a little bit because she's also extremely prideful. Like, while everyone else is trying to get laid and that's how they get fucked up, Artemis gets fucked up because she avoids dick. Wow. That's yeah. some oh, bullshit. Wow. 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 Uh, Let's no, she had a guy that she loved, and, um, he told her to fuck off, so she swore off dick. And, of, but of course, lesbianism didn't exist in Greece, only for only homosexuality. I think I broke it. Homosexuality didn't exist in Greece either, right? Yeah, that's be. You, you could be, you could be gay, you could be, hope you could be a, a gay guy in Greece, but you couldn't be a lesbian. Unless you're from the Isle of Lesbos. Like, that's the, like, I'm not kidding. That's where the term comes from, because it's the only place in Greece where, like, like, gay women were more or less accepted. That's where the term comes from. That's amazing. Fucking, fucking Lesbos. Isn't it called Lebo, though? I don't care. I like the idea that there's an island called the Island of Lesbos. Because it's an island where Lesbos are from. Okay. Hey, Lennox, it's not. Why are you surprised? Wait, it told me to use the fucking Armager, so I used the Armager. And then use the Armager skill. Guys, I Which think one's the right. Armager skill? It's me press your Armager button when you're near the end of your chain. You need to be an armiger, which you can't do right now. I didn't know. It fucking showed the prompt on the fucking screen. It said I'm use armiger. It said to no. use armiger. So it I used armiger. For, for an entire minute, you looked at it and didn't do anything to it. I feel awkward right now. I just, I just broke God's arm. So this means that the that the city loses hey, power, right? We all still here? Yep, still here. If a little battered. Does this mean it's over? Well, you are. What is it you now? are now. God. What is he doing? He's winding up. I'm gonna just replace this guy in Godhood. Like the game said, use Armager! So I used Armager, and it seemed to be working, and I was doing damage to him. Ah! I don't fucking know. So apparently this guy just causes problems. That was... Luna. You spoke with her. That's why. Wait, he spoke with Luna Freya, that's why he wanted to kill us. Man, she must have made a really bad first impression. So, the explosion was, 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 was big enough to knock out those, those things out of the sky. But now, now we did. I think it was just like, I think it was just kind of like a release of energy. All right. All right. Where did you? Who was flying this? He just stole it. He's an empire. He's the generic bad guy. Isunia, Arden, Isunia, Imperial Chancellor Isunia, at your service. But it was I, Dio. Wait, why is he helping? I guarantee your because the Empire is a very oh, weird thing. Welcome to take your chances down there. Also, you always need to try to make convince the try to convince that the bad guy isn't bad. I know. Because oh, yeah. 
God. If you don't try to convince the player that the bad guy isn't bad, then there's no twist to be made later. What a twist! The bad guy working for the bad guys was bad all along! Oh no! Also, oh, re remember when I said, like, he's basically Kefka? Oh. So he's gonna he's gonna throw the emperor off a building again. Let, let, let me tell, let me show you this. This is an empire that uses magic tech, and he's the counselor of the emperor. Wait, the chancellor of the emperor. So Ooh, you boy. know he is literally Kefka in those terms. So they're just doing Final Fantasy VI again, but they're removing the only part of it that made Final Fantasy VI charming. And. Putting in cars and putting a very bad, bad try, like try to be Kefka, and putting in and putting in a very clumsy merging of magic and technology. Because, like I said, I'm not, I'm not in, I'm not against the inherent idea of magic plus technology. I'm not against it. I'm fact, against it being kind done of a cool clumsily. Concept. I'm against it being done clumsily and without the magic being explained as if it's science. Like if you bring if you bring science into fantasy, uh, you have to turn the you have to turn the boys. science into magic, what do do with us right? Now? Why? But if you bring magic future, into 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 sci-fi, you need to turn the magic into science. Imperial. Come. You know? Like yep. Mass Effect. Mass Effect is the perfect fucking usage of this. Well, no. Why did Mass it take Effect was great. Not. Until Mass Effect 3. No, uh, you know what? Until so Mass Effect Andromeda, because I still had a little bit of fun playing Mass Effect 3. Can't Not as much fun as Mass Effect 2, or Mass Effect 1. That was 1. a great game. If you truly it was, a, it was an okay us, game, Mass Effect 3. A disappointing end to a instant. franchise, this but playable. Especially after the extended the ending. Army could break your fall. I do like how their ending was so bad that they actually changed it. And while the ending's still not super great, it still works. And it's open enough that fucking through, like, essentially fan fiction, people can come up with their own endings. And it's better than anything that they could ever probably make. Yeah, and then you get to Mass Effect Andromeda, third NPC you meet. Hi! I'm trans! Did I mention that I'm trans? Hello, I came here because I'm trans! Oh god. I, I, I never even heard of that game, and that's probably why, because people actively blocked it out. I, I haven't played it myself either, but I like I watched the first part of a little, of an LP, and it's like the fucking like fifth character the fucking uh, guy playing talk to. That was... That was their entire fucking dialogue tree. Oh god. Why would they make that? Because they did it in Dragon Age Inquisition and nobody noticed. <laughs> nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, but essentially they were- basically Bioware is trying to be more and more progressive. Yeah, that doesn't so... work. You they're stealing my car. Try to make it at least slightly believable, if you're gonna be that way. I have- I have seen some well-made homosexual I mean, characters, characters that just like we shout out, "Hey, I'm a gay person." Isn't isn't out. good. That's it's not good character. I mean, like I, I'm always of the opinion that a character's sexuality. Oh, good. The regalia is fucking dead. Good. I'm of the opinion that a character's sexuality should be, should be like essentially a non-entity. It should only come up in like romances. And even then, like, yeah, and even then, it's like, if you don't even want to, like, worry about it, just make everyone buy. It doesn't fucking matter. Like, 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 you know, it's just, like, buy for the main character, even. Like, because it's, like, just one, like, because like, it's, like, if a, like, you can have, like, a character be like, oh, like, Kaiden, like, for example, like, Kaiden Lenko, you can have him be like, oh, man, look at that girl's ace, oh, boy. But then if, you, if you're playing as male Shepherd and you've hit on him enough, and he, like, he's like, oh, yeah, I also like dick, but, you know. Cause that's how that's how it works. Like some people have a preference, but they swing both ways. In, in other words, have everyone being main character. For, um, yeah, main character, like yeah, base main character, character sexual. Like, like some, yeah, that's some, some people have an issue with that, but honestly, like it, like unless your game has a harem route where it can get extremely out of control, it doesn't fucking matter because people on the internet are going to want to bang every character anyway. And if you just say, "Hey, yeah, any one of these characters, if you if you want to date them, you can. Whatever, it doesn't matter." 
Yeah, that, that, that. It's, it's the best way to avoid fights. Is. And it's the best way but, to avoid the fucking issue. Because did you know that Garrus was originally a gay option? Um, did, did in you... all seriousness, like, in this, in this to topic, do some I do think that if you are going to do something about the characters, like, sexuality, at least do it well, and don't just force it in for the sake of being progressive. Yeah. I mean, like, party members, it doesn't fucking matter, and if you're gonna have a, like... I mean, honest, at the same time, like, you got, like, I'm not saying, like, perfectly balanced as everything should be, and just snap your fingers and half your cast is gay, but <laughs> at, this, at the same time, you can't, at the same time, you can't do, you can't do what Prey did. Like, because in Prey, there are ten relationships. There are ten, like, relationships, like, between, like, NPCs and the main character throughout the game. There's only two of them that are straight. One of, and one of them is de is dependent on on you picking the male player character instead of a female one, and the other one, um, he's a he's a fucking widower because his wife is dead. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and, okay. and Alex, I didn't even know that was a thing, so I don't know yet. I have. Alex, it's of course not gonna some go for the trap because that's all he goes fuck for. Fuck you. He always does. Am I wrong? Don't, don't even Shut say that. Up. Just admit it. <laughs> Stop bullying me. Uh, there's no bully here. This big is just bully. facts. No, we're just we're just bully. spouting out facts. No, it's bully. Facts no, are bullying. Shut up. You, it... Have you not been paying attention for the last year? Facts are bullying. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I just ignore what I just ignored media for the past Gentiana. three years. Gentiana, I'd be kicked off. Okay. Wait, hold up, new character. That. New female character. By the storm oh, it, blessing, yeah, I forgot. She also has more personality than Luna the Freya. Opened, <laughs> the Oracle goes hence in her king's name. She's got a, she's got a, she's got a cute Freya accent. Female. The eye of the storm. Oh right, I forgot when to mention today. Forged, Would you like to talk about our Lord and Savior, Ainswell Gown? At the walls of water. And also, did you the check the uh, the video I sent earlier today? I don't think so. Of uh, Einzul Gone and the Guardian playing D&D. &D. I did not. I was at work, so I couldn't. Faithful to the Oracle. You should go look it up at one point. Uh, probably. For real? It's about an hour long. Oh, we're going beyond real now, what? Val. Yeah. That's ridiculous. It's a driver's CD. What the fuck you expect? Yeah. What? Why would... I'm the trash man. Uh, Thank you for coming to verify ever. trash man. Why would you quack? What would you what? I... Why would they play D&D? &D? Like, yeah, honestly, they're it's all very simple. They're not all immortal. A... Why not? I like, it, it basically I, goes I and like if we keep going on the way we're going, I'm gonna need my like everyone to be able to handle being you no know, talking to humans without murdering them on the spot. Hmm. So I'm gonna take this old like he goes to the library, looks around, finds this D and D book that was probably put out and put in by Tabula, I'm okay. and says, "Hmm, when I have an idea. Just wait, wait, I will when? teach them about human we'll weakness and sentiments and all that stuff by forcing them to play humans." And then, and then Shaltir runs into a dragon, and she goes, "I roll to seduce the dragon." No, it goes no, more like if someone abandons, shows off, tells them, "Give me all your money," and show that, and like, and and take off all your clothes and weapons. And to which Shaltir, uh, Shaltir Albedo, and I believe Demir say, "Yes, Lord," I and start stepping down. <laughs> okay, so we've got more story. And I'm trying no, to pay attention, like, but it's just fucking noise. Down. It is noise. Like I said, the entire story of this game is shit. Like, it's like, it's going on like, oh, Crystal, Crystal, King, Crystal, Crystal. It's like fucking Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, basically. The heart, heart, heart. Heart, heart, darkness, darkness, heart, heart, friendship, dark, dark, not nobodies, dark, dark, heartless, dark, heartless, dark, heart. Then... Liss. Bees! I guess I oh, can yeah. do it. I won't let you down. Become a beekeeper! Oh, yeah, we, we, we didn't I'm say light enough. Oh, this shit. Voice is hurt. Become a beekeeper, Sora. That would probably be a more compelling plot uh, point at this point. Now you go meet Ramu. 
to the you see the uh, this is basically Jojo part is it part four? Or, 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 or no, it's done well to keep no, the ring from falling the, into enemy this hands. This is just, so this is basically um, a JoJo. That entails passage aboard a ship. Pretty good. Kaya Mesa. Hey, what are you after this time? Okay. I'll see talk. you later. Okay, so light can uh, purge. Uh, hold on. Light can purge the swords is more important. I need to, is the only important thing I need to take away from that. So why didn't they just fucking say that then? <laughs> Because like, it's a shit game. Like, because like I get it, the story. I get it that the story is fucking like annoying. But can we tr can, like let's try and focus on it for a bit? Because the last thing I want is people enough. complaining. I'm not paying attention to the story. Like because if this game, if this game's story continues to just be noise, I'd rather like be able to point at specific things that are just noise. Uh, Wait a minute. Um... No, did you did you get some equipment for all your guys? Like some like life uh, equipment? That might be why you keep dying so fast. Um, I d I have gotten equipment for them, but like, like have you used the AP? Like, have you used your AP to unlock more equipment slots? Not in not at the moment. I haven't. You probably should do that. Where's that? Where is that? Probably. Apparently, probably the game in stats, gives, uh, I believe. gives an explanation for everything at in the final chapter. Oh boy. Launch, launch a full scale attack with the allies, the armature chain, empties the armature bar. But what's the button for that? I press the armature it's button. The, it's the same button as the armature button, but you need to be an armature to do it. So press armature and then press armature again. Yeah, uh, when you're near the end of, of your, your bar. Because otherwise you'll waste it. Huh. Oh, no, boy. is that stuff which is important right now? I'm just looking at stuff, God. <laughs> this is just skills. Yeah, you yeah, can work. Health level, accessory slot. Oh, here it is. More accessories! Yeah, this should help. More health! Alright. My actual stream, like, where I'm getting the stream from is so behind, it's ridiculous. Sorry. Well, that's how it normally is. This should only do like about. fucking like 20 seconds at max. What are my thoughts on Cyberpunk 2077? Um, it looks like it's going to be good. I'm finally getting a good Cyberpunk game. But I, and also I, it's like, it's, I'm so excited for it that I learned the rule set for the tabletop game. But nobody else knows the fucking rules, so no one wants to play with me. <laughs> Nope, because we all tell you to play Shadowrun and you Fuck you! I don't wanna be I don't want elves in my <laughs> in my fucking cyberpunk. Fuck you! Get that get your dragon mayor out of my goddamn Seattle, you fuck. Okay. I just like how mad you get just at the mere mention of it. Fuck yeah. Shadowrun. Angry. And do we just have to say the word Shadowrun and you'll start ranting? But yeah, pretty much. Actually, fuck Shadowrun. I, I'd i rather not. Save and check the lore guide now. We still got another, like, 30 minutes. Fucking... Like, let's fucking get to the end of the stream first. First Titan, now Rama. Chasing down deities is hard work. Think how Lady Luna Freya must so fucking oh, yeah, yeah. the strain of the rights. Also, once again, the Final Fantasy do the the the, 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 the boring thing of hmm, let's not explain anything in game. Let's put on like thirty pages of what you should be learning to like you know understand what the fuck's going on. Shadow Run, uh, Shadow, I Shadow Run Returns is also garbage. I played I played some of fucking the sequel to that game, Shadow Run Hong Kong, and it was fucking shit. 
let's just say anything Shadowrun is awful and stop asking questions about it. Like fucking sh like Shadowrun Hong but Kong that's doesn't. Just, that's just being wrong. Shadowrun Hong Kong doesn't have a difficulty curve. It has a difficulty fucking brick wall. I think she's more a messenger of. Like you've got like a shittily designed like half the classes are fucking impossible to play. Like if you play as a Decker, go fuck yourself. If you play as a fucking drone boy, go fuck yourself. If you play as anything that's not a fucking mage or a monk, go fuck yourself. And even then... You're like, still... Fucked. Even then, go fuck yourself just a little bit less. <laughs> like, the first actual mission you undertake as a Shadowrunner, like, like the, the one that's not just go, to, go and fucking do the, tri the, do with the triads, is break into a fucking... Um, break into a fucking uh, museum and steal shit. You steal shit. It's like, oh, there's something in the basement. What the fuck's going on? And you go down in the basement and there's enemies that if they hit you once, they send you to the fucking Shadow Realm where you either need to fucking kill enemies that are that have, like, just as much health as the enemies above that you're supposed to be using fucking, like, four people to fight, or you die. And these enemies can fucking just, can move further than you in one turn. That... Like, so, like, say for example, I was playing a mage, right? So, like, ain't got a lot of health, but I, I use magic. And level 1 magic isn't very good. So, here's his story right? about Lady Luna Freya so like, I get sent to this fucking Shadow Realm with an enemy with an enemy that is really strong. The fucking- it, the Shadow Realm itself is only, like, like a fucking- I don't know, let's say, like, 30 by 30 box, right? Squares. Right? Each square is a movement- movement space. I can move- I can move 10 squares and then fire, or I can move 20 squares and, and end my turn. The enemy can move 15 squares and then attack, or it can move 30 squares and end its turn. That... The fact that it's turn-based makes it even more stupidly we're impossible. We take them out one by one. Like, Could you just... Propose a way to finish this faster? Like, it's actually ridiculous, the level of fucking, like, difficulty, because, by mind, all the missions before that were, hey, here's a couple of guys, like, one-on-one, -on -one, and you have your team with you the whole time to help you do it. And then it's like, here's this enemy type that will separate you from your team. And then, and they can, and there, it's still the same enemy that's supposed to require, like, a full party to fight. Wait. Does this, does this have any form of grinding available? Not by that point, no. That is... That is phenomenally stupid. <gasps> yeah. Like, that seems like the type of thing that it would, like, that the game would, like, suggest that you grind for, basically. Gentiana, a messenger. But there's no avenue to even do that. So also, there's this race of people oh. that... I tried to. There's this race of people that can just I fucking teleport around, and their only mm. reason to exist is to give Maybe messages. Yeah. Like, that... what? they have cell yeah. phones. It is heartening to see the future king Wait, and the Oracle you have this race that can teleport, and reality. you use them for something that's the basically world irrelevant. All they can really do is, all they can do is... I remember back in Tenebrae. All they can do is give is give messages that Ignis just the explained what they were. The storm sender like all they do is teleport around and give fucking messages in the form of fucking riddles. But cell phones exist. But why? So like like assuming these people have always existed and they were in use by people before cell phones. Why did cell phones exist? Like this is because only the kings can see them and hear them. The kings and the oracles. Why the fuck does the king not have a cell phone? <laughs> like, you know what's- you know what's easier than just fucking listening to goddamn riddles? Fucking- uh, getting a cell- getting, getting a, a- getting a fucking- Getting a fucking, like, text message and be like, Oh shit! The Queen of Tenebrae wants to know we're on for lunch, aight? Or if, like, there's a more detailed, like, message needed, a phone call. Yeah! What did she say? Like cell phones. No. There's no it reason is... for these uh, for these oh, messengers to exist. They have zero purpose. Yeah. To be fair, there's only one messenger. Well, apparently okay, there's a rate. Even if there's only so even better. if there's only one now, yet yeah, more of them used to exist. Like, 
This Me person's Mets explanation isn't that good Giga. for it. That yeah, that explanation doesn't Probably doesn't. On silent. <laughs> Excuse. Yeah. Like we can't say more, otherwise it's spoilers. All right, fair enough. I'm literally I'm just saying like based off of like the fucking the way it's presented, right? That's all I can. Yeah. That's all I can do. We keep saying the story is fucking shit. All like, but it's, it's just proving it's my. It's like proving though. my point about poorly done integration between fantasy and technology. That's not the point of this. This is just a a shit story because it's Final Fantasy. But a lot of fucking. But Square Enix hasn't been able to do a good Final Fantasy story since FF9. FF6, you mean? But all right. Um. <laughs> fucking um. But like, it's it's still it's like. This happens a lot in Amazing. stories that merge the fantasy the and in the palm of your hands. that merge the fantasies and fucking um and, and uh, technology. Like there's a reason. Don't I avoid don't it. implement things that are redundant. Like like I said before, there's no point having a fireball spell if you can have a grenade launcher that does the same thing. There's a reason people were terrified of the idea of Legend of Zelda becoming more modern. Yeah, like fucking like that was the original idea for Legend of Zelda was like you'd have a fucking time travel mechanic where, where you'd have like one part of the world. It's like NES days too. One part of the world that was set in the future and one part that was set in the past. But Shiggy went, no, nah, that's fucking retarded, fam. And he was right. And he was right. And like, but the thing is though, like and yet they pulled it off like two consoles later. How? You're talking about Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is. Is actually a good. I'm, I'm talking about Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of yeah, but that's not fucking. No, we're not no, 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 no. We're talking. We're we're not talking like fucking going seven years into the future. In the original one, Link went three thousand years into the future. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that would have been bad. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's that's the blending of fantasy and sci-fi I'm talking about. Considering we saw what they did with Breath of the Wild, I guess it wouldn't have changed anything. Well, yeah, but at the time, though, none of that shit existed. Hang on, what's this doing now? Here's the thing. They, in Legend of Zelda, they keep it relatively, like, um, magic-based. And, and even then, like, with Breath of the Wild, they have introduced more technological elements as time has gone on. But because magic exists, and there's always the fucking influence of the magic and, and the fantasy and, like, atmosphere, all of it is very the well explained the by the world itself. Zeria, like fucking the Sheikah Slate. Like Finally, it's supposed to. It's supposed to essentially be You're magic. Even though, like, we can look at it and go, "Oh yeah, no, that's a fucking iPad." Like in universe, it's it's just a magic device. Easy now. Yeah, but like it, Legend of Zelda is just a magic-based game, and it does that well. It doesn't try to make it like. Oh, we suddenly got technological advancements and that science exists, but we're not going to explain that. We're just going to have magic side by side, too. Yeah, and even then, like, the way the, the Sheikah Slate is um, put forth, the Sheikah Slate is something that, like, isn't even made by the fucking uh, established thing. It's something that's made by a long-dead civilization. So at that point, you could just go, oh, there was a civilization long ago that was super advanced, and it died out. Well, don't the Sheikah still exist, though? Yeah, but they yeah. don't remember how shit works. <sighs> and they and they also did kind of become more tribal and that yeah. kind of thing. Essentially, they all died out and the survivors, um... In other words, they pulled the Star Wars. <gasps> kind of, sort of. But thing is, though, like that... Not really. It's kind of, sort of, but to a lesser extent, that exists in the real world, too. Like, there's a lot... There was a lot of shit just throughout history that just was just completely forgotten. And it would have been just fucking magic to the people of the time. Like fucking, um, who were the guys who had aqueducts like fucking centuries before the Romans? From the oh, Babylonians. No, the, the, yeah, it was either the Babylonians or the Aryans, one of the two. It's the hanging, it's the hanging gardens of Babylon, and that's where like yeah. the the concept of uh, of the aqueduct was like. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, 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 no. I was thinking about the Aryans. And the Aryans had indoor plumbing. After Rama, we go see Leviathan. Like, right? Indeed. So why are we going to see God again? Why not? Yeah, you're going to see Ramu because that's your fucking job. All right, fair enough. Just kind of like one of those king them. things. But yeah, like fucking it's like just a king thing. Yeah, like when was when was indoor plumbing like invented like 
by us. Like, you know, like, like, mo like, fucking, like, the, the line that led to us right now. Because, like, it existed in ancient fucking India. I, and, like, by, like, Which the Aryan, by the Aryan Which people. Is? I'm not, and I'm not talking, like, like, fucking Hitler's Aryans. There were actually people We're called Aryans. Which is, which is quite funny way. considering how, how, uh, how, 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 uh, how Indian Swami is right now. Yeah, so like, so like you had this fucking, so like you had this fucking race, like, wait, I don't want to say race, society I'll say. The society of people that just had indoor plumbing. They like, they had like fucking, like sewer, a sewer system that ran underneath their roads. Yeah, and it fucking worked, and it worked like... And like it just that that technology just fucking disappears, and just we don't discover it until like I'm gonna say I'm gonna say like 1700 is when it was invented again. Indeed. Just spout out a random year. It's I'm fun. gonna because it sounds about right. Because 1500 sounds too early for that. I don't know. You're not... just starting your rant and my, like, you're just starting your, like, what if we discover it and say, and, like, my I mean, I, I mean I'm, pl I'm playing right now, so I can't exactly just stop and fucking, like, Yeah, Google. yeah, it's, it's just that my, my connection is shit anyway, so it's yeah. like, you don't need to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> um, how do I get to this fucking... Where am I going? Where's the... The big orange box, Nas. If I couldn't the see it. mark inside. I it's literally to your right. I couldn't see it. <laughs> um, but. Magitech engine. It's close. <laughs> I don't know. I... The Royal this... Arms thing I got, but like I don't know when the gods came into it. Like we just went to the fucking like. We went to the fucking um, big titan guy, and then all of a sudden it's like, Oh yeah, go see the other gods! Maybe they won't want to punch us in the face! <laughs> like, this this game just feels so... Uh... What's the word? Disjointed? I don't know. Kind of. I can't get yeah. hold of her. Ears? She call you? No messages. Like, it just feels like they're trying too hard to go too big too fast. Mm. Like, I, I'm honestly getting lost, like, even without, like, fucking having you guys in my ear, like, fucking, I'm just, like, reading the subtitles, I'm trying to pay attention, and it's like, what the fuck is happening? I'm just as lost as you, and honestly, I'm pretty much getting the guidance from the people in your stream chat. Mm. To your right, Nas. I know, I'm looking for the path. There it is. So not. Right now, you're still gathering your powers, but... Wait. But yeah, it's like, so like, fucking, like, with, with this Legend of Zelda example, you can go like, oh yeah, no, there's this ancient civilization, and tell us that civilization exists, and show us stuff about them, you know? Like the sound of that. And they kind of did, but like, a lot of it is like, they usually, they're keeping them secretive on purpose, I'd say. Oh, well, I mean, that's the thing, though, like, they're fucking, like, they did that in Zelda, but here it's like, oh yeah, no, we just have these. But it's like having modern day having they, they, they've got modern day uh, equipment. Like the reason like technology evolved the way it did for us is because we didn't have magic and we need and we need stuff to kind of fill in that like fill in that like, thing. You know, like we, we, we need to fill that in. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck just happened there, but alright. Like, like, we don't have, like, we don't have, like, amazing. magic messengers that fucking send messages between, like, fucking everyone, right? So we have cell phones. Like, this game um, is, this game is charming, and I like playing it, but by god is the fucking, like, setting all over the goddamn like place. Fun. Like, and this, this game's problem is just, like, how it presents things. Yeah, the, the settings are, the settings just kind of all over the place, that's really all there is. pretty close. Which means we must be as um, well. Back to Legend of Zelda again. Are you aware that Nintendo did like this prank where they pretended that they were gonna make Zelda Modern Age because they knew how much Over fans there. didn't want that? That's the spot lightning struck. I thought and that was that, that's inside? kind of pertinent to this conversation. Uh, here or we are. Sha Hollow. In Final no Fantasy 15, the common people don't Stay have sharp. magic, but magic Always. still exists. 
Okay, the, so, if, I mean, if the you know what? Maybe if the lore was fucking better laid out, I'd, I, I'd have less problem. Because like I said... Everything was better laid out in this game. Yeah, like like I said, like, you can have fantasy and, and technology mixed up. Like, fi like fucking, the, like, Breath of the Wild did it. Like, the only diff issue is you need to integrate it properly. You either need to fucking explain it in a way that makes sense. Like, you gotta have, like, if you're going to be more fantasy, you've gotta have the technology be more like magic. And if you're going to have more, more, it, more like technology, you need to turn the corners. You're going to have more technology, you need to turn the, the, sci the magic into science. But you can't get your toothpaste in your peanut butter. Um, fucking, uh... Or, like, you know, or just have, like, the tech... Or if you have the technology be fucking... Like, oh, it's this, lo this long dead... This long dead civilization created this thing called an E-pad. Or something, you know. There's a. I just remember a teacher that I had that just kept on calling squeeze iPads e pads. Yeah. Pretty easy for me. <laughs> like though. fucking like the like the fucking Lego oh, movie. You, you made not you made Vix's tits too big on this. He's having oh, no. trouble squeezing. Oh no. Uh, second thought, maybe not. Like like fucking the Lego movie did this great. Like fucking the Craggle, and it's just a mispronunciation of crazy glue. Keep quiet. Oh, uh, gosh, the, uh, uh, the, the like Titleist. Stay alive, yeah. The Titleist. Yeah. The, the nail thing. Polish Not remover of Nair. <laughs> Who doesn't like oh, yeah, the Lego movie? Oh. What Stupid people. The Lego movie, not gonna lie, is top five of this movie. Reduced to a torch. Best movie. It's, it's the one movie that I've that I've rewatched more than once. Besides like besides like Star Wars, Harry Potter, like some like or like, or something like it's shown like all the time on TV. Because I actually bought the Knights of the Movie Never miss! Yeah. The fucking Raichu in Sun and Moon. Annoys me because it's not because it's because it's not only electric oh, um electric it's fairy too or yeah. psychic. Oh, it's psychic. psychic. Right, you psychic. It's psychic. It's very psychic. Nice it's very psychic. Oh wait, oh wait, no. Some some Raichus aren't. Oh, oh. Yeah, the oh, the Alolan mean? Raichu is psychic. It's psychic electric, and normal Raichu is just electric, like it's always been. Yeah. Yeah. Freaking. Yeah, so freaking, frick, freaking your, your bitch boy, uh, um, fucking uh, rival or friend. Don't lose your head. The best rival is Gary Oak. Yeah. Smell you later. <laughs> Look, I hate that he, guy. He really had a weird oh, finish. Oh, the That's fucking, it. What's up, Iggy? The fucking the He's game. come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. So I'll consider how. Oh, those are how you're like basically like your your uh your dawn from freaking like gen or whatever it's like diamond and pearl because that's what i'm most familiar with the one from diamond and pearl was great because he had add no, no, yeah that's your that's your rival and your freaking sun and moon is freaking uh, freaking uh emo uh, with, with, with the blunder yeah Frickin' he's just a fucking he's just a fucking egg lord. Like you um like like on the second island he has like a he has like a um he has a uh, he has hotel room and then like they see two two years for it. And you walk in there and you talk to him and all he says is get out. Yeah. That's all he says. Did someone fucking pick me up here? Oh, Jesus. I've had worse near death experiences. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Can I just switch to Ignis? There we go. These, these guys have these guys are just living bombs. I'm just gonna throw knives at them. Fuck it.
Like, no reason not to just throw knives at me. I am playing on PC. That was a rather tiring endeavor. The only issue is the OBS doesn't like doesn't like this game all that much. Boom. I I fucked with the settings every way to Sunday, but this game just doesn't want to fucking play ball. So I don't know what's up with it. Uh. Sad boy hours. Oh my fucking yeah. god. Somebody else, uh, no. Oh, for fuck's sake, Gladiolus just fucking hit me in the face with a sword and I got fucking dicked on by the, by the imps. <laughs> That's not good. Say your prayers. Fucking head of the other head. Or, um, no way, no, 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 no. Oh, Keyblade mod, cool. It's neat. Now I can fight the darkness with... Now I can fight the bees! Oh, man. Uh, I'm really not a fan of Kingdom Hearts, like, for real. Like, I, sometimes I feel like I'm the only person that thinks Kingdom Hearts is overrated. No, it is. Honestly, the only thing I really liked about it was the gameplay. Because I actually feel like the gameplay was really well made, but pretty much nothing uh, else. In which game? Because I played the first Kingdom Hearts and then went never again. Um, I think that, like, the games are more of, like, a subjective type of thing, too. Like, I'm not really... Like, Kingdom Hearts 2, I feel like it got more fluid in the controls, but it's still... Two, two does have better controls, like, in all that. Look, the thing is, is that this story is so dumb, I just don't want to advocate it for it too much. God damn it, Ignis! Why can't I regroup? I'm just gonna keep holding the block button. Fuck it. Alright, regroup on Ignis, for fuck's sake. Oh, you get a fucking killing blow on these things and they, and they explode. Sorry. I hate those types of enemies so much. And they're and they're fucking and they're fucking strong against guns too. But that one didn't explode. Excuse me, why? Nothing to it. They're strong against guns. Ah uh, yes. Ah uh, yes. The best way to make sure that that our game is a living hell. Yeah. But that's the thing, you you make those types of enemies weak against those so that it makes In sense yeah, for you them think. to be like that. So if they don't or explode when they die, die. That's, a, that's the one thing Nas doesn't get. They don't explode when they die, they explode when they're alive. No, they no, one of, them I, one of them I fucking shot him and he fucking exploded, and he fucking exploded as he died. Then he was already in mid-animation of, of going up. Because hmm. they explode when they're alive, get bigger, heal themselves, and do more damage. Fuck you, I'm going through! Nope. God damn it, video games. Why do you have to have boundaries? I was like, the game was letting me go through for a bit until the last one came out. And then it forced me back out the other side. See, Federico says the right thing here. It tells you which game you should be playing with the FF14. No! Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should play a good game instead. Which one? Not, not either of those. Final Fantasy 14. <laughs> good. Final Fantasy 6. There. That's. I'll play that one. The thing is, though, I don't even hate the I don't hate the combat of this game. I just the story is mm, not very well told. Not well made. The 
Not, Sorry, yeah. not little maid. And now I see you don't hate the combat, but you suck at so much you keep bitching. No. Just so, like I don't hate the combat. I don't hate the combat. I'm not bitching about the combat. It's just sometimes it's just stuff where it's like, like why, 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 why is this enemy strong against this thing when it's like one of the only ways to fucking fight them? Like why make an enemy that it's fucking suicide to get up close and then make them immune to ranged weapons? Have I tried weight mode combat? No! I don't wanna! <laughs> Cause then these streams will take for fucking ever. Like, like I don't hate the combat. There's just like every time like there's every every now and again there's a little bit of a thing where you're just like, but why is that like that? You know? Yeah. Like, like like those like those guys that explode when you get close to them and they're immune to ranged weapons. Or well, not immune to ranged weapons, but they're strong against ranged weapons. You know, it's like that seems counterintuitive. I think like you could like you like you could like at least make them just normal to ranged weapons. Yeah, and that, then like like reward fine. someone who's like crazy enough to go in with a melee weapon. Yeah. Guys, wait! What? what? What was that sound? So even Alex approves. Alex, why aren't you in the game with me and Riku? Pronto! What happened? I can't believe Prompto's right. fucking dead! Over here! Rip. Well, time to leave him behind later, fucker. Shoot him to make sure. So sad, Pronto. I can't. So sad, okay? I can't believe Prompto's no, fucking I'm dead. Not okay! This place is literally the if worst! If we can get 50 lives. Why did it have to be a snake? Ah, uh, I can... Thing dragged me all the way over I here. can still hear his voice sometimes. I like how you almost orgasm. <laughs> yeah. They just keep coming. Yeah, yeah, it's a real they shame that Prompto's back. dead, everyone. <laughs> help! Help! Yeah, sometimes I swear I can hear, still hear him calling for help. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's a mind player. Hey, don't you stand there. Laws is favorite. And we can we not with the mind players though? Oh, it's uh, oh, it's the tentacle monster. Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna fucking just go armager against it. Fuck it. Alright. Gotta go for a bit. Alright. How did that not kill it? What the fuck is with this mind flayer? We're here to support you, because of me. Whatever would I do without you? Like, I come close. Like I went. Bronzo came back. It's a damn shame. Uh, It's a damn shame that we lost Prompto. I'm right here. I, sometimes I can still hear his voice. I can still hear his voice. It's almost, sometimes it's like he never left us. Like, this Thunder Bomb isn't... Like, this Thunder Bomb is fucking, like, weak to swords and neutral to everything else. Like, why were the other Thunder Bombs not? Like... Like, that's a bit weird. Oh. Be nice to oh. Up in here. oh boy, I'm eating oak. I'm eating oak very tan, tan brother. Uh, I love oak. Remember yep. when Gary was such a good trainer that he had 23 badges? Wasn't it 10 in a place that had 8? And now as you're going back in your tracks. Oh, for fuck's sake. I know, I just like to say, I just like to increase the number every time I talk about it. Gary's got so many fucking badges. You know how the main character, you know fucking, uh, I don't know. The, like, dude's such a good trainer, he went back character. for seconds and they fucking had to give him another badge.
What's trying to attack Haven't me? There... Haven't there been... Well, I... I'm assuming that the rumors have been going for a while, but like, I've seen like a few more rumors like saying like, oh, they're gonna make it something on fucking Pokemon that combines all the, at least all the initial ones, which which clearly will line up. All the ones that are supposed you to be in the camp, not, uh, yeah. not, the two most, not the two most recent ones. Is that like the two most recent ones basically in Hawaii and Ramp and like that? I have no idea how I did that ink link strike thing. I have no idea. I have no idea where this link strike. If I remember well, you need to you need to uh, to strike when Nader your ally is striking at the same time. Some bullshit like that. Yeah. I just teleported Prompto like 20 feet. Like, and Prompto was all the way across the fucking cave, and I'm just like, Prompto! And he's just fucking teleports in. Even in the afterlife, Prompto's still helping me. Yep. Still fucking dead. Well, that works. Um, the fuck am I going? Like I honestly just go, uh, just go in that tunnel. But, uh, but there's if the, it doesn't lead there, then go to the next beside it. Fucking, I think the other the bit besides this. The wait, ah, oh. it's a dungeon. Explore, Nas. It all no, looks the same. That. It looks the same. It's a cave. That's what caves look like. I know. I got I got fucking turned around, okay? <laughs> She's here. No, it's never go alone in nature. You're gonna be Show lost forever. Yourself fucking, already. I, I'm cool going it. fucking... Dude, if I ever go to nature, I'm burning it down. Like, someone's like, Oh, you gotta go out to nature. I'm like, I right, let me get my flamethrower from Elon Musk. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. Hate nature. <laughs> But then again, oh, I live really? in I live in Florida, so can you blame me? Yeah. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. I hope you like you like Big Florida. Snake Lady, like Angie just did. Oh boy. Oh, is it Gladio? I don't remember who did. Just a, it's just a. I live in a swamp. Florida, also, See? Florida, I told you. also known as she um, That's her. also known as Do American something Australia. Not? Don't ask nice. me. Nice. Do it yourself. Nice. It was brutal. Yeah, it was brutal, like Big Snake Ladies. It's a naga. Yeah, big snake lady. Me. Nice. Where's who stole her babies? I I know where. I killed it. I ate it. Yeah, and I imagine no matter what I picked, he would have been like, "Not nah, fuck you, I'm gonna end you." Yeah, basically. All right. Well, let's get hey, to the yeah, end of this. Want... It's the boss. Yeah, snake lady. <laughs> Alright, Ignis, can you get a fucking analysis on it? For fuck's sake. Can I force Ignis to do that, or...? Uh, that is one of his abilities. I mean, he normally just does it, like, by himself. I don't know how yeah, to force him to do it. Basically trying to hit him with a few elements and he's got to run pretty much do it. Like, switch weapons. Oh great, I'm a frog. Ah, you got frogged. Yeah, no, oh, right, I remember, this boss is a fucking bitch. Oh, so it's like the, um, so it's like, like the rat in that. <laughs> no, it, hey, it's like the rat in the zone. Sure. Right here. Yep. Oh god, the fucking lock-on point is so high. Oh, there it is, alright. Oh, for fuck's sake. Forcing him to do is a wait mode. Why would they lock that to the fucking... The fucking, like, l slower... Slower and lamer way to play the game. Ah, oh, I used the wrong... I used the high potions and the high elixir, for fuck's sake. Look 
Who's back? The Green General. Back to business. Put your prayers. Oh, for fuck's sake. Every time. Every time. Every time I try and do something. Yeah, she's a bitch. Get the hostage. Get off my property. I mean, it's better than the fucking alternate version. Hippity hoppity. Ban private property. Judah in the face! Oh, hi there, opening. <laughs> I'm impressed. It's not gonna Hippity hoppity. Get off of my property. And Pronto's dead. I'm just gonna just keep using these fucking. Okay, well, someone killed her. Someone killed her. What was she talking about? It's me. Oh, something about her baby? Yeah, if it's anything like her... Gotta love bosses that here. fucking just die when you can't fucking do anything. That's the last runestone. Oh, finally. Like, why do games have such hard-ons for bosses that take away control from your character? Kind of annoying. This seems like a good way to get hit by a lightning, I'm gonna say. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Yeah. I mean, getting hit by lightning is just about the same as doing LSD in this case. Mm. Oh boy, I'm seeing visions! <laughs> Exit the cavern. This is it. The power of the storm. And good job! Now I hope I for you that they fix the fucking summoning in this patch. Oh boy. Than others, I guess. Oh yeah, the fucking um, summoning an Esper, right? Yeah. Perhaps. Cause it was shit on the p on the version I had. Just a boat right away. Oh, Never fucking worked. Oh way. boy. Well, deal. Turn to the entrance. Hey, there we go. Oh boy. Yeah, they really. This really is just Final Fantasy VI again, but they fucking forgot to tell you how shit works. Like, fucking Final Fantasy VI, like, you walk into, like, oh, you play, like, girl. what? They were showing, uh, they were showing, uh, uh, Lou Freya. Yeah. Or girl. Yeah, but they're not explaining anything, though. Like, it's Final Fantasy, it's like, Final Fantasy VI, you walk into, you walk into Narsha, you fucking get blown up by a, you get blown up, <laughs> like, talking about, people talking about Espers yes, and Kefka and the Empire and all that shit. But then, like ten right minutes later, Shoot. someone ex someone explains what the fuck is what the fuck all that is. Yeah, we're on here. But here it's like, oh, that's an Esper. Well, it's an Esper. Oh, you know that Noctis. About your car. Yeah. Well, I found her, but she's at a base. Oh. Now I can handle garage folk, no problem. But sweet talk in the Empire. That'll take some doing. So this is Don't like in Grand Theft Auto when you yeah. get arrested. We'll you gotta break out. into lockup, you steal sure your car back. That? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Your heads up. Later. You gotta you break into lockup. The then you need to uh, summon like Ramu that? because yeah, of course you need to. Uh, and did she have any choice? And then you need to get your kick, yeah. your, your shit the kicked in by place. someone oh, who boy. has no relevance to the plot at all. One question. Oh boy. All right. Well, let's. How long will that take? now. Long, save and quit. You're in for like an hour and a half. Oh boy, alright, let's not do that then. I can't save right now. Conjecture. But I suspect that ship was due to arrive far early. Yeah, Onyx. But the thing the is, you would hold the fucking button, down. and it would take five minutes for it to summon and somehow trigger. I know, because I spent 50 mission, 50 minutes on the mission Noct is about, uh, Noct is about to do. And like, at the end point, what the only thing that knew it, like, I stood the entire base, but he didn't want to give me the mission because Ramu still hadn't fucking summoned. And I've been pressing the fucking button for 15 minutes. 
I, 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 I tried spamming them, I tried holding them. Yeah. Oh boy. So, it was shit. I hope to fix it. Otherwise, I'm expecting Nas to be very, very angry. For very the next angry. Like, very, but... very angry. All right. And the worst thing is, when it triggers, you're forced to do it because you can't do any other action. Yeah. So, all right. It so, I'm, triggers so, randomly. so I'm about to wrap the stream up here, and we'll, and we'll, when I've ended the vod, we'll look at the, the lore guide, I guess, because I highly doubt that's going to be interesting to, for, for fucking. Doing. <laughs> it's going to be boring as fuck. Yeah, but like, here's here's my point though. This game is. Like, like, play, gameplay-wise, I enjoy, I enjoy running around, I enjoy exploring, I enjoy basically doing that. And I even enjoy the combat for the most part, but some of the fucking enemy weaknesses don't make any fucking sense for what the enemies are. Like, and as well as, like, some of, like, the, like, fighting the Magitek things, or, like, the, the big chicken walkers are really dumb. But, for the most part, it's fine. But the story... It's just Final Fantasy VI, but if they took out all the things that made Final Fantasy VI approachable. But you know? it's not even Final Fantasy VI. Well, so far... Like, not even close. I mean, so far, like, the general idea, like, Empire being shitty, you've got a fucking, like, advisor... The Empire has been shitty train. since FF2. F well, yes, but fucking Final Fantasy VI is the one that I'm the most familiar with, so I'm trying to draw the parallels to that one. You've got, like, the Empire being being shitty and fucking taking over everything and killing people for fucking giggles. Yeah, you've got a- you've got them and, the, and they're, like, really in, super industrialized and they've got, like, fucking, like, walking magic tanks and all that shit. Alright. Yep. But the thing- and, but, and, but the thing is, though, in Final Fantasy VI, whenever you run into something like an Esper or magic or what the Empire is or who Kefka is or why the fucking castle can fucking, like- essentially move underground on a fucking track. There's always someone about three feet away that you're going to- you're going to have to talk to. Like, the game basically bottlenecks you towards them because they have your next quest, and there was always an option to have them- to, to ask them, okay, yo, what the fuck just happened? And they would- and they would explain, like, oh, like, welcome to Narsha. This is a mining town that the Empire has taken over because we have an Esper in our basement. What's an Esper? Oh, Espers are magical beings that control the magic of our world. If all the Espers were to die, there'd be no magic. Why is that? Oh, because their realm is made of magic. Alright, makes sense. How does- like, what is the Empire? The Empire is a, this fucking, uh, government that became super fucking powerful because they discovered Magitek. What's Magitek? It's using magic to animate machines. How do they do that? They enslave espers, drain them of all their magic, and then basically use the desiccated husk of the esper to control the Magitek weapons. Alright! Makes sense. That's the rules of the universe. That's a logical progression. I right, that's fine. And all of that is in the game, and it's impossible to miss 90% of it. There's like a little bit of here and there, there's like optional side stuff that you have to speak to someone for, but... Most of that stuff is ancillary, and the and the game makes sense without it. Here, it's like... Here, it's been like this is FF13, maybe 12, I didn't play that one, because fuck it. Yeah, like, it's, like, they, it's like... They don't know how to do, how to do like... I like their excuse was like, if we do big open world, we can't tell the story we want, which is bullshit. Mm. Uh, and the reason for not putting the lore in the game was basically like... Oh well, not everyone wants to learn the setting, so if you want to learn, well, it, that you just have makes to go people that it. just makes people fucking confused. It's like, yes, what? Why do cell phones exist if fucking magic messengers exist? Why do we have cars if we have chocobos that go just as fast and are fucking like chocobos are just better horses? That's always been the impetus for chocobos. They're just better horses, like, like they yeah. eat. They that, eat. That's and, why you have the guy who does. The, the Final Fantasy game, like FF15, and he's shit. And then you have Yoshi P, who's in charge of Final, Final Fantasy 14, who is a fucking god, and who might actually make an FF16 that won't suck ass. Thing is, this game doesn't even suck the fucking, like, the, the, there's, like, the gameplay itself is fucking solid and fucking fun to play. But the yeah. setting makes no fucking sense. Wait till like, you get the, the second half. Like it's re like it's redundant. Like the fucking technology is redundant because of the magic. The fucking like 
the poli the socio political stuff doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Yeah. I don't even understand what the fuck happened in that cutscene where the king died. Apparently, there's yeah. a crystal that makes a magic shield that all the kings have control over, but but but. but... Don't try to don't try to understand. I played the entire game. I saw the ending, and I still didn't catch what the fuck was going on. Exactly. Right. This is another FF13. Uh, all right. Well, regardless, let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna end the vod here. So hey, thank you all for watching. Those of you who watched live, and those of you who are watching on the vod. If you are watching on the vod, then you always swing by twitch.tv forward slash nosy chan catch it live. Because I like like I said like I I hope this is like at least decently fun to watch because I. I am enjoying this game, it's just the story fucking makes me scratch my head. And at least it's not like Dot .hack where like fucking every ep every stream is like 20 minutes of gameplay and fucking 2 hours of fucking cutscene. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, so if you like my content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share on social media, cause that helps a whole bunch. Hit, hit, please, please do a YouTube stuff is poopy butts and I'm hungry. And if you really love my content, you can always support me on Patreon, subscribe on Twitch, or Faith the Cup Guardian. I'll see you in the next video. Most importantly, we've all become a trash mammal today, and I'll see you a rounder.